Hi, this is Scott Ford from Mr. Ford's class, and on this Technology Tuesday, we're going to answer a question on how to add background music in Camtasia for Mac. And this question comes from a posting from the Udemy Studio, so I think I'm going to answer this one for you. So I'm going to bring up a project that I had developed using Camtasia. Now, I use Camtasia as well as Premiere Pro. But for this one, it was easier just to use Camtasia. Now, Camtasia's got a lot of good features, and it really makes things easy to use. But at the same time, in making things easy to use, it also makes things hard to use. What I mean by that is they kind of hide some of the functionality where you have to go hunting for it. So in this case, we're looking for how to adjust the background music. So I'm going to play a little bit of the video for you right here so you can see what's going on. Hey, this is Scott Ford from Mr. Ford. All right, so you heard the background music, and then you heard me talking over the background music. And so what we have here is this is the track right down here. This is the track over here, and then I just dragged and dropped it to here. Now, normally, the track comes in at 100%. It comes in at the levels that the music was recorded at. And obviously, we don't want it at 100%. So watch what happens here. I'm going to turn it to 100%. And you can see exactly how much louder this thing is. Hey, this is Scott Ford from Mr. Ford's class. It really, and really, really drowns me out. So what I'm going to do here to make the difference is I'm going to go up here to the effects area. And up here I have media, annotation, transitions, animations. I'm looking for audio FX, audio special effects right up here. Now I can instead go here and make the changes to the volume up over here. I can crank it up to oh, 240, no, well, let's see, 250%. Wow, crazy loud. I can drag it down to 100% or I can just enter the number here. And also pretty loud or I can just drag it down to whatever volume level I want now this is cool if I wanted it as a steady volume but I don't want it that way in fact I want it to be a little bit louder at the very beginning of the video and then duck down as I'm speaking in fact I may also want it to fade out altogether and there's a very easy way to do this I can use the presets of lower volume or raise volume I personally like to use the custom button. This allows me, I think, more freedom to do what I want. So I'm going to drag the custom button down here, and it really doesn't matter where I put it right now. To the left of this button is what's going to impact everything on this side, and when I move over here, everything I set is going to impact over here. So I am going to make this side, let's say, 60%. Now I'm going to move the cursor to this side, and this is where I'll be talking. So I want it to go down even lower. So I'm going to make this 40%. Now once I have those settings, I can really move this effect anywhere I want. And you can see the sound levels rising as I'm moving it past those different areas. So I want to move it here, kind of keeping where my title is going to fade out and my dialogue begins. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, not too bad. Hey, this is Scott Ford from Mr. Ford's. Okay, and it ducks down pretty well so you can hear what I'm saying in this video. Class, and in this quick little... T All right, let's say I want a little bit more of the sound. Let's say I want more of the music, but eventually I want it to disappear. I want it to fade out. Again, I can use the lower volume but I, once again, this is a personal preference of mine. I like the custom button. And I'm going to bring the custom button down anywhere down here I want. And on this side, I'm leaving it alone because I like where the volume is set. But on this side, I want it to fade out. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to drag it all the way to zero. Now, it's going to be a pretty jarring change. Watch or listen, I should say. Need to do. Assuming, of course, you, boom, the music just died off. I want this to be a gradual change. So I'm going to drag part of the arrow and I'm going to make the transition even longer. Now you can see that the volume is still going down, but it has more time to go down in. I want to show you how to... So I'm going to mute my main track so you can actually hear this work. 
Okay, ducks down, I'm talking, blah, blah, blah. Now here it's going to gradually fade out. So that is how you manually adjust the background music levels in your Camtasia production. All right, well, that's it for me. If you liked the video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and tune in every Tech Tuesday for more helpful updates in different technology. Until then, goodbye for now.